The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment, heard on the official website of HEW Entertainment. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1-641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1-647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion 10 times. Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace. Emailing us works for you too. Email us at H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god. J-B-L. J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of HEW Entertainment Radio on the official website of HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Wah. The champ is here! Streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. HW Entertainment Radio is inviting you to comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So what are you waiting for? Log on and listen now.
always wanted to do that, open up the show with the Superman theme, talk about making an entrance. He is back for the first time in seven years. How are you all doing? I'm your host, Jonathan Clark, on the brand new YouTube One channel of HW Entertainment, youtube.com slash JonathanClark22, where we are inviting you to subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter at JonathanClark1 and join the conversation of ours on Facebook at facebook.com slash Entertainment. The Superman remixed theme. I hope they had that theme song and that movie coming out in June because that theme song really adds a feeling, gets you in the mood. Uh, for a movie like Superman. Of course, this is the first Superman movie in over seven years. Last time we saw him was in 2006. It's been a while, and I know a lot of people, particularly the youth, are really excited about Superman, and I myself am excited to see Superman on the big screen, the first motion picture event featuring Superman from DC Comics and Warner Brothers in over seven years. That's half of a decade. Congratulations to Superman for his previous success and the success he has yet to achieve from the release of his first theatrical movie since 2006. Everyone knows about the legend of Superman, or at least for the last 60 years. The last time we saw Superman, of course, was in Superman Returns in 2006. The portrayal of his legend by Christopher Reed was phenomenal, and this new Superman is equally as impressive in The Man of Steel. Some are choosing to look at it as a sequel to Superman Returns from 2006, but I am choosing to look at this as an entirely different perception of Superman, and I will tell you why in today's edition of HGW Entertainment Radio Broadcasting on the all-new YouTube One channel of HGW Entertainment. We are inviting you to subscribe to us on Facebook and to follow us on Twitter and send us your feedback while you're listening to the show on the release of Superman coming to theaters this June. Of course, there are a lot of superhero movies not taking anything away from The Man of Steel being released this June coming to theaters this summer. Of course, we have Spider-Man 2, the follow-up to the original Amazing Spider-Man from 2012. And with the recent success of Iron Man 3, the sequels of Iron Man 1 through 2, with generating over $193 million, Superman has got a lot to live up to. Uh, with his reputation over the last at least 60 years, I think he's going to be able to do it, and it will give him reason enough to take the number one spot in the box office. Reason enough for him to take the number one spot in the box office is the fact that this is the first superhero movie featuring Superman in over seven years. It's been over half of a decade to put it into perspective for you, and that's why I think the perception of this Superman movie is going to be entirely different from the previous five Superman movies, at least, that we have seen. The retro Superman movies, taking those into account, starring Brandon Ralph, and of course, all the success he had as Superman and Christopher Reeve's portrayal of him in 2006. It was years till that movie was released in 2006, and it seems to be even longer with the release of Superman, The Man of Steel. One thing that also jumps out at me is the fact that there was so much conversation on social media about this film's release. There are so many trailers, versions of it released on YouTube. I threw a couple of them up on our website because I wanted to see how fans were going to receive uh, this Superman movie. And it seems to be being received very effectively. And the fact that this is the first Superman movie in over seven years, I think, has a lot to do with it. One of the things that pulls me in about this Superman movie, I can't deny it, is the fact we have a new Superman and a new Lex Luthor for the first time ever. Superman and Lex Luthor have an entirely different reason to have a confrontation, and I think the reviews of this film within the first few days of its release are going to be very positive. I'm hoping we see a series uh, of Superman movies released as a follow-up to this movie being released in June, because it's the first time Superman has had any...